All right, let's move on. That was the um, third part, isn't it? Yeah, there is a third part. Let's move on. Telling mm-hmm. you this is woo wee, so just prepare yourself. Update. To sum it all up, things really hit the fan. This morning, my sister came over to where me and my husband live and started banging on our door. My husband opened the door and my sister barged her way in, screaming. I came into the living room where she was and she started screaming at me more. My husband had to stand in front of me because he was worried that she was going to lunge at me. My sister was yelling about how she lost her job because of some BS reports and that she knows it was me talking trash about her. Because you just couldn't stay out of my business. I replied that it was my business if she was bullying pregnant women and then bragging about it. My sister told me to F off, and she said once again that she could talk about anyone any way she effing likes as long as she gets her job done, because that's what she went to school for and that I don't know anything. I reminded my sister that I actually might know something since, oh, I don't know, a certain teenager's family had something to say about her behavior as well. My sister proceeded to go on a rant about that B-word in her family and how she was supposedly annoying my sister by giving birth? I had trouble processing what she said because it was honestly mind-boggling. And here's where things got really bad. I thought that my sister saying horrible things about her patients who hadn't done anything wrong was mean. I thought the nicknames were cruel. I thought that her telling mothers in labor that they weren't doing things right and giving drugs to a teenager and slut-shaming her was vile and, yes, misogynistic. However, it was about to get atrocious. During my sister's rant, she said that she wanted to teach that brat a lesson and said that maybe if she had given birth when she was older, her kid wouldn't have died. Oh my god. Holy s***. My mouth dropped open. I didn't know this before. That poor girl. Her baby effing died. I was horrified. I fell to the floor sobbing. Imagining that girl in so much pain and my pregnancy hormones combined got me and I was on the floor having a panic attack. I told my sister to get the F out of my home and my husband escorted her out. My husband held me for a good 15 minutes until I calmed down. So yeah, I'm recovering from all that now. I don't plan on talking to my sister for a while. I do plan on announcing the pregnancy soon, but I'm putting it off until later. We just crossed in the real or not? Did she say the baby died, or did I miss that? I no. hope I heard that wrong. I hope I heard that wrong. Because here's the thing: either one, we've crossed into real or nah, and this, and I'm I'm gonna call BS on the story, or two, your sister probably has a chemical issue. It's like something ain't firing right with your sister, and and, and I, it could be because she has a chemical dependency, or she's chemically imbalanced. One of the two. But something ain't firing right with your sister to not just be dismissive, which is what you've shown, not just be insensitive, which is what you've shown, but to actually be vindictive and cruel. That's different. And that's what that story just turned into. I'm going to say something real quick. But I still have my wits around me. And obligatory if the story is real, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. I would at this point in time have absolutely no desire to talk to, let alone be around my sister at this point ever again. But at the very least, absolutely no time soon. I wouldn't I say never, but it wouldn't be during my pregnancy. No, no. I, no, I, actually, <laughs> I, I no. actually would not want to be involved with you during my pregnancy, after my pregnancy. I don't trust you enough around small children who are defenseless. I, I, I can't get the image out of my head of the way you feel about people with your premeditated 
um, decisions on what you feel that's a real mother. I but is it any different than these conservatives who feel like they can place judgment on your entire life based on their rule book? It, it, it is. And I'm not talking about the Bible, Tracy. I'm talking about no, no, their no, 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 no. internal and rule book. Right this. And they say that what you're doing is not what a mother should do, is not what a pregnancy should do, right? So they put that out on other people. Isn't this, isn't she kind of displaying that? And I'm going to tell you what the difference is. kind of is. cruelty? I'm going to tell you what the difference is, this. From my point of view, I'm going to tell you what the difference is. Because, yes, you are absolutely right. There is no difference between the sister and the people who feel like this. The only difference is I didn't know my sister was like that until now. And now, yeah, that, I, I and just, now that I know, I, I, I can't do it. Yeah, I, I, I've I, been through you. some stuff. I've been through some stuff with with my family and um, things that I never thought I could bounce back from or whatnot. And I and I've had a pretty good overall life. But I'm just saying. The concept, the idea that I would legit just disown my brother for life. Yeah, that's a I can't even see. Even, even if he even if he turned into some kind of weird monster who was killing people and hiding them in the basement, he had to go to jail. But he's still my brother, <laughs> so that I would be at war. It would be a, I know, I, I now know. unless he did something to my family. Now that's different. He do something to my but family. His family is I'll insane. burn the whole world down. I'm talking about like my children or my wife. I know, but that right. he should treat them like his family. He should, but people aren't pe people don't do right, right? My brother does, but I'm just saying people don't do right. So, but that's my red line though. Like my red line is my. What do you call it? Direct? Immediate. You know what I'm talking about? Immediate. My immediate family is my red line. Right? When I got married and started having children, that became my immediate family. And I'll burn the whole world down behind them. But outside of that, I just can't. Especially in this case, because what her, what her sister has done has not, to we know, to our knowledge, resulted in someone's demise what she's been is cruel right she, she has been cruel drugs to a teenager to shut her up she should be in jail period i don't care if the girl left the hospital <laughs> period i i get it i get it tracy i get it but what i'm saying is you got parents who do that you got family members who do let them sip beer it is all these different shades of gray that happen in life she should be prosecuted for whatever she does I'm talking about the thing about disowning. Like, I will say, you came in my house and acted a fool, and then you told me that? That's a level of cruelty I can't deal with. And I'm going to have a healthy pregnancy. So you and I cannot interact at any time. Nine months. That's what I mean. I'm not, not, not I, while I, this I, is happening. I, I may have this quote when I said disown. I don't mean to say I disown them. Yeah, because they're always going to be your relative. They're, they're, just they're always, they're always going to be my sister and everything else. What I'm saying I'm is, is I can't see myself dealing with you until I can get over this. And I'm telling you off the bat, right here and right now, that is my decision. It is not my mom's decision. It's, it's not my dad's decision, cousin, husband, everything. It sure as hell ain't the sister's decision. It is my right. decision yeah, when I feel that like that I can deal with it. From this point on, from the time that you walk out the door, when you bust through my door and my husband has to stand in front of me to stop you because you look like you fit to kick my ass because your job is more important then you're making fun of somebody who lost their child, bruh, you reached a level of, and, and it's worse because we're listening to a story of strangers. It yeah, is terrible, going but, through but let's put it in its place. We are listening to a story of strangers. We don't know these people. We would never meet these people. Let's switch it. This is this girl's sister. Somebody you grew up with. 
Exactly. So what that you That's why were, it gets more complicated. So what that you was proud of that this is something that she wanted to do since she was a child and she achieved it. And then you look back on it and realize your achievement turned you into an effing monster. Sure did. And I, I did. have to deal with that. Then then on top of everything else, you're going to have to start thinking, did I see the signs and I just ignored it? Did I see the signs, but my love for my sister was stronger than the stuff that she was saying? Like, you know, how many people's lives did she put in danger? We don't know if she unalived anybody. We don't know. That yeah, was never right. seen but how many people who she made effing miserable mm -hmm. been in that hospital from one person? Everybody has an how many day, but put day risk. Going, lady. Yeah. Get another profession. Work in, how many work lives in fixing cars or risk? something. Because this nursing thing, it's not for you. This ain't, this ain't you. I'm, and I'm, get I'm some therapy because something's you. wrong with you for blaming a mother for defecating during birth. That's what mothers do. Sorry, not sorry. No, I'm just saying I'm not that, sorry at all. It I said not I, sorry. I'm just saying I'm just saying like if you do a job, especially a high stress job, right? You you are full when you on, you're on, okay? Yeah. Now, I've never been a doctor. I've never been a trauma nurse. I've never been a, a labor and delivery nurse. Of course not. But I do know that when I was a claims adjuster and I'm constantly negotiating bodily injury, there got there. It did get to a point where you weren't people so much to me as a task, a, a process. You fall into my process. And if you would just stay in the process, all of this will go smooth. But anything outside of my process, you are now making my job more difficult. And I got 50 more like you I got to take care of. Right. That can happen. I don't care what your job is. Right. It really happens to nurses. It happens to soldiers. It happens to police officers. It happens to judges. Those roles. You stay in it and you don't find and you don't have a way to ground yourself. People stop really being people. Right. They they become just a thing that you deal with. So now a judge who should look at a, a 21 year old male or female and say they got their whole life ahead of them. Let's get them in front of a therapist or, or a psychologist to figure out where this person falls. So I know whether I'm looking at a 10 year sentence or a five year sentence with therapy or send them straight to therapy or, you know, what I'm saying like that's where a judge should be. So you've been doing a job for 30 years. This is just one more person who robbed somebody. Yep. And Ten I'm years. Yep, I'm tired of seeing them. <laughs> like, Send them to jail. I'm tired. Let the prison yeah. system take care of you. Say it, but true. Right. So that's why I'm like, I'm not trying to give this lady a pass because there's not one. I'm saying that she's showing the signs that either one, she's burnt out, or two, she ain't firing on all cylinders. And she needs to get away from the role before she does, if she hasn't already, before she does cost someone their life or worse yet. I mean, and there's a case we say, like, there's nothing worse than losing your life, but there could be. Because serious disability, depending upon the person who ends up with it, that could be almost worse than death. Right. So this lady could cost someone a lot. Get her out of this role. She may never be able to come back because she may be too far gone. Um, or she just really needs to. She's on the verge of an anxiety. Like mental break. Like you, you've heard those people who just snap. Right. They were normal yesterday. <laughs> and. and yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah. What I really caught. In her rage at her sister was you need to stay out of my business like 
you yourself didn't go out of your way to tell your sister about all of these and she was meddling in other people's business when she told them if you had taken care of yourself you wouldn't have been that's meddling that's well, because stay out of the I'm gonna ask both questions. questions. I'm gonna answer both questions. <laughs> Anna, what your statement is saying was you need to stay out of my business, aka I have the right to vent about everything else. You my sister, so no nothing can nothing should leave these four walls. And Mom. because you reported me, it was now you in my business. Tracy, what you're discussing, there's an answer to that because unfortunately, just like we've dealt with people on this show in the comment section and everything else, you was getting in the business of these people because I'm doing the good work. So I am am still doing my job. I'm not, I'm not ignoring what I'm supposed to be doing. So when you people are be so certain people who say I'm being a nurse and a doctor and everything else because I like to heal people, I like to help people, I like to help people get better. This lady flat out thinks, but I have to give them advice too about their life and their lifestyle and things like that. That is also a part of my business. Advice is one thing, but again, there's a time and a place for everything. And this woman thinks that not when you feel like you have a calling. Yep, exactly. Not when you feel like you have a calling. When you feel like you have a calling, you are whatever it hits you, you say it. She needs to be especially those really mean, rude people. She needs to be a car mechanic uh, or something. Don't deal with people because she don't need to be nowhere in public. No. She be a politician. Agree with you. They wrong. Be, be, be a politician. That don't require no empathy. Just do that. Run for office. Shoot. Forget it. And, and Mickey, that's what I was saying. We also don't know if the nurse was always nasty. It's a possibility she was always lacking empathy. And that's what I was saying was the, the sister the now, the OP and the sister, the OP, the sister, also to have to think <laughs> did I not see this already and I ignored it because she's my sister? Probably yes. It it, it is so many layers of this. It's like that's why they say hindsight is twenty twenty. Twenty. You look you look on things differently when you have that extra knowledge. Yeah, but she needs to change her number, get a restraining order, because she gonna come back. She's coming back. She's she wanted one. She gonna keep. She's gonna tell everybody how her sister ratted her out. Although the drugs, I've been like, no, nah, I'm telling you. She'll leave all that stuff out. No, no, no. That, She'll just yeah, say that, that her sister. Story, that story her is sister, not gonna be part her of sister her. reported her job. Oh, yeah, you're right. She, and it wasn't even true. It wasn't even true. It wasn't and even my like sister that. went and made she, trouble for me. She ain't gonna tell the rest of it. No. See, she was jealous and, and of or me. We, or we'll just pull. Or we'll just pull a Trump move and just sit there and say. I was reported by my sister and all these people, and yeah, all these people, people. say it with me. It was fake news. Was it yeah. true? Because, and this is a sad thing, and I'm trying to work through this. Um, you know, uh, what's that guy's name? He's the the guy on MSNBC. He's an amazing debater. He has a book out right now. Oh, Hassan, you know, how to win an um, argument. Um, Mid- yeah, I can't even think of his Mid- name. First name. Medi Hassan. Medi Hassan. Oh, Medi Hassan. Sorry. Medi Hassan. So Wait, one no. of the points he was making is because this is my one of my fatal flaws. I live so much in what I view to be logic that I really suck sometimes at emotional intelligence. So there's you sometimes I feel like if I just give you the facts, it it we should be good. Right. I I gave you I gave you the information. Why are we not on the same page? Missing that people make their decisions emotionally. Right. This is one of the reasons why I never enjoyed sales, because in sales, you're supposed to understand people buy emotionally. And then they rationalize their purchase intellectually. And then I like to leave with intellect, intellect, right? So maybe that's part of this weird dynamic that this this is going on. So all I can say is get this lady out of this role. 
Um, get out the road. Be a mechanic or a politician, because girl, you no. No, don't be a mechanic, because she'll be on some. I don't even like their attitude. I'm not even gonna put their brakes on right. <laughs> I'm not sure what job would be right. Her, but don't work in daycare. Politi- don't. Politician. That's what I said. Politician. Bill, Bill collector. Oh, she could be Bill one collector. of one of them bill collect them annoying oh. bill collectors. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah tell, she'll do that because she ain't got to see them. Yes, yes, that's what she mm-hmm. can do. Yep. What's up? Your collections. What's up? Learn life. Where you been, man? Hey, what's or, good? Or, or woman or non-conforming individual. The first step in is 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 admitting it. And no, because <laughs> again, it was everybody else's fault but hers. And the funny oh, thing that's about what I was gonna is, say. the funny thing about it is she's not even saying it did. Well, no, she didn't. She didn't. She's say not saying that right now. Was it true? She just flat out said it was reported. Right, and she knows where it came from. Because there's only one person she told. Well, but that's what I was say is, for not keeping her big mouth shit. How about that? How, how, how? I agree. I'm not in your business. You put me in the business. You put right? me in the business. But then I was going to say, you. everybody wants to be the hero or the victim in their own story. Yep. They're, she they're very fired. seldom are they the villain. She right? Always they're either the victim or the hero. Oh, Tracy, I got the, the fire truck out here by my place. You hear that? Oh, good. God, dog, Tracy, you said a fire truck? You just sent well, them to Georgia. Dang. <laughs> Tracy, you something though. Parker, I'm not going to put your comment up until like the end of the show because I I, I, I just don't want to deal with the outcome. And like I said, I've been on this show for a very long time with these people. I don't even want to deal with it right now. I will put it up at the end of the show. So I don't understand. Now that ain't right, Marlon. You done brought I'm, it up. I'm, I'm not. Oh, I'm, I see how it. you gonna decide I'm what we can see? Because I know, and I hate to say you people, but you people, I know how you all are. I'm not gonna put that comment up until the end of the show. Now, I don't want to end the show the end am i the a-hole on that crap because was that the worst person of the year nomination yeah that's the worst person of the year everybody has everybody has agreed that that should be a nomination and she's in there could we could well i'm more i don't want to say can it get worse but it will yeah